Although this virus may be very real, the panic that is being created is completely unwarranted. Crashing the market, frightening the citizens, and stressing out the population all because a bunch of sadistic assholes want Trump out of office before he exposes their crimes. Somehow, they even managed to create a shortage on toilet paper products when there's not even one intestinal symptom to this virus. The media and the Democrats are playing us like a bunch of puppets, and all this is doing is revealing people's greed, pettiness, and selfishness. Meanwhile, while you wealthy liberal do-gooders smile as our economy falls, and the events around the country shut down, the people that you claim to care about no longer get tips at work. They no longer get customers in their small businesses, and are no longer able to pay their rent. I remember how the last pandemic went down, and Obama was a failure compared to how the president has handled this. No matter how you spin it, Trump was on top of this as well as anybody could have been. He took control of a black swan that nobody ever expected. It is damn well obvious that if Trump could walk on water, you snowflake traders would just say he couldn't swim. Whether you like him or hate him, you think this would be the time to drop the political shade and be part of the solution instead. Every Democrat politician and mainstream media source referred to this virus as the Wuhan or the China virus, and the internet is filled with examples. Yet you self-righteous media monkeys virtue signal us and call us racist? You have quite literally started getting your talking points from the Chinese communist government-run media. You have to ask yourself, how and when did China get so much power over our country? However, none of this even compares to the actions of the junk babbling harpy and her liberal sycophants. You act as if our president is not doing everything he should, and you blame him for your slow crawl. If there was ever a time where we need to work together for the people, it is now. The bill that goes to Senate should be fast, to the point, and clean. And somehow you think it's okay to add things like abortion funding into this bill? Something that you know conservatives cannot be more against? This is political extortion, just another example of how little people matter to you. This means one of two things. You either have zero empathy for the common man, or you know that this pandemic is not as dire as you claim. While you think the majority of the population is falling for this ruse, let me tell you what the people are really noticing. We notice that the media is completely dishonest, creating panic when our leader is trying to create calmness. We see how the media is more focused on political semantics and disrespecting our president than they actually care about the threat. We realize that we are dependent not only on supplies from another country, but a country who was our enemy and started this whole problem to begin with. We realize that our economy is too easily influenced by a few wealthy people, and we have a Federal Reserve system that does not care about uncontrollable circumstance. We see that the elite will happily watch us suffer for their needs, knowing that their financially secure situation can ride this pandemic out. We are becoming aware that colleges can be done from home and the expenses associated with higher education can be reduced to necessity without other needed costs. But most importantly, we realize how much we rely on others to survive at all. My friends, the truth lies in the reality that you see and hear in your daily routine. No matter how much the media tries to convince you otherwise, the truth is always in front of you, behind you, and around you. If you just turn off the television and the media for a few days, you will see the reality without the confusion of indoctrination and forced perspective. Take this quarantine and make the best of it, understanding that not all is what it seems. Put down your phones, enjoy the time with your families, and get to know one another again. Write the book that you've always talked about. Paint a work of art. Just enjoy the things that we have taken long for granted. These were the things that God wanted us to focus on anyways. This is a subtle opportunity to unplug ourselves from the economic and social matrix that we have become oblivious to. This event does not have to be something that holds us captive to fear. It can be a reminder of how fragile mankind can be and something that brings us closer to things that are more important. It's a moment of humility as we start to notice again all the hardworking people that remove our waste, stock our grocery shelves, truck those goods across the nation, and grow our food from the seed. It is an opportunity to once again come together as a nation run by people rather than the people who are run by a nation. A chance to break the chains of a government-controlled world and once again become the many great nations under God.